Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. All right, so uh, uh, I did the video on um, INFJ and the wizard, okay? And, uh, you know, it, it really gave a lot of clarity to a, a lot of different individuals, which was kind of cool because I basically just tried to figure out, like, what happens, you know, in, in these decades from zero to 10. And you can see it, you know, here is here is age, okay? All right. And, and, uh, yeah, so, um, but I changed it up a little bit and, and there, I did with, I got a lot of comments, a lot of great, uh, you know, points on, on two specific things with regards to, well, the wizard and basically God, it takes that long and all that good stuff. And well, what happens, you know, at the five year mark. So kind of wanted just to touch on it and elaborate. And I think, um, it's improved. Okay. So as you can see, um, we now have maturity stage one, maturity stage two, and I'll go over that in a second. But basically, I took away the, the word wizard. All right. Um, I don't know. It just didn't fit. Okay. So between the, uh, the, the age of zero to 10 is the beginning. You call it whatever you want. But for me, it, it really doesn't have that big of a um, that big of a deal as it relates to MBTI and figuring out who and what I am. It just, well, for me, it was just the beginning, right? Now, obviously with me at, at the age of seven, eight, nine, you know, 10, obviously a lot went on in those, you know, you know, three and four years, um, you know, going, you know, coming out of, you know, my first decade, but it still just for me, it's just the beginning. OK. All right. Then when you get into um, 11 uh, age, you know, your second decade, you know, it really is like a decade of discovery. It really does feel like you're just. Moving, you, you know, it's, just, it's like you're just taking in information. OK, uh, for me, I was going through a lot more than that, you know, because of, you know, my childhood and everything. But it really was. And the question marks are just basically representing. That's it. OK, but then when 21 and when you get into your third decade and I'll go over the half life too, you know, what happens in between here, you know, in a second. But um, with regards to um, uh, your, your third decade, you know, it starts to become a lot more clear or not clear of, you know, what's wrong, you know, and I called it the fog. And it's just like you're not fitting in. You're trying to look back, you know, on, on your second decade and what you discovered and you're realizing that, well, your discovery didn't give you the tools and or the answers and the clarity to be successful in your third decade. It, it, it just it just didn't. It wasn't there. OK, for whatever reason. And then what happens in your fourth decade is full-blown confusion. And, and the reason why is because in your fourth decade, you're getting married, you're having children, you're in, you're in deep into your career, and you're now starting to realize, well, I had my beginning, and then I discovered life. That didn't make sense. And then I'm going through this fog for my third decade. I needed a foundation and a, a, you know, a, a clarity to my life so that I can be successful at it. And I see people around me being successful. And well, it just seems like I'm alone and I'm just fucking everything up. But my God, it's not my fault. It, 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 it's, it's just not my fault. And, 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 and now I'm in my fourth decade and I'm so confused. And I'm, I'm absolutely not clear, but I'm not in the fog anymore because wait a minute, it's not my fault. I, 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 I've seen the, 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 this decade, I've seen my third decade, I've seen the advice I've given and it's, it's come to be true and people still aren't waking up to the fact that it's not my fucking fault. It's not me. And that full blown confusion creates a reflection in the mirror of what the hell, what, what's my next decade going to be like? And, and depending on where you are, as you come out of your fourth decade and you come into your, your fifth decade, and, it, and in my opinion, it's going to be, and this is what I talked about, remember the half-life. And what I mean by half-life is, um, I mean the, the, the five years. So this is five, that's six, this is 25, basically. And this is, well, 35, what would that, well, that would be actually 36 like that. And this is going to be uh, 46. 56, 66, and 
76. Okay. So basically what's happening coming uh, into your fifth decade, coming out of coming out of 40s, going later into your 46, 47, you're starting to come into more of um, an understanding, more of a clarity that, well, as you can see, you know, this is a very muddy place because we're, we're all going to be transitioning and growing every five years and then becoming very different per people, you know, every decade. Um, understanding, clarity, acceptance, and peace with it. Where I am is I am, I think I'm coming out of confusion full and coming into understanding, having extreme clarity and transitioning into extreme acceptance. The only reason why I think at 49, I'm, well, it's funny because I, I wasn't even looking at the ages. I was thinking of decades and not really years, but this is the transition for me. And I believe it's really this word being at peace that I'll hit between 50 and 55. And then I think, uh, and I think going into 60, I'll be mature one and then mature two. And as it relates why I picked one and two, no secret. I didn't know what to fucking call it. I just had to guess. That's the truth. So uh, the reason why I picked maturity in stage one was this extremely well thought out plan and uh, understanding. Um, pick what you want. Stage one, stage two. I think there is personal growth that goes on here and here. Is, are those the right words? I don't know. I'm not totally happy with stage one and stage two. I'm not even happy with the freaking word maturity. I liked wizard, but it just, um, it just didn't do it. So this is the uh, secondary uh, video on the INFJ and the wizard. This is INFJ and maturity stage one and two. Life is a journey, not a destination. I hope this helps. And if you are uh, a younger INFJ, if you lead with the um, INFJ as your primary MBTI type, this might resonate with you. Um, and if you have questions about what the beginning is actually means to me and discovery, put it in the comments and ask me and, and I'll tell you where I was during that decade. Um, also, I just want to close with this. Um, I believe that, uh, well, let me... I don't know how to do this. Um, okay, so if okay, so if this is zero, five, and ten, okay, um, I believe that every five years we gain an understanding toward the last five years and make a decision on what we want to do for the next five years because life is looked at in decades. The, the tens, the tens, the twenties, the thirties, the forties, the fifty, the sixties. So I believe that the monumental changes in life every end of a decade come from the reaching of a half life or a half decade reflecting back on the last five years and looking forward to what we want to be. For the INFJ, the looking 10 and 20 years in the future is a very large part of what creates that area of our life. And <laughs> so fucked up. Sadly, that is 30 to 40 years. <laughs> oh, dear God. It's wonderful being an INFJ. It is just awesome. Yeah, okay. All right. So, um, this is, uh, okay, this is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video.